Hi students. Today we're going to read chapter three of Horrible Hearing Moves Up to Third Grade. So by now you should have listened to chapter one and chapter two of this book. If you um, want to, if you missed a chapter, then you can always go back to um, a previous slideshow of the Bitmoji Classroom and then you will find the link to um, the previous chapters. So this chapter today is called A Deadly Event and it has a picture of a spider there. Ooh. Now, if you remember in chapter two, uh, Harry and Doug and their classmates were sharing all of their mementos from the summertime. And those were all of the special things um, that they, it was kind of like a show and tell, like things they wanted to share with the class about their summer. All right. Thanks took a nosedive the next day when Harry brought something to school in a shoe box. The box had cellophane on top so you could, could look inside. Now cellophane is like plastic wrap. It's like something clear so you can see through it. All we could see through was dirt, some grass, a rock, a plastic lid, and, toilet pa and a toilet paper tube. Oh no, Ida groaned. Does that box have a snake in, in it like the in it like the first day in second grade? Nope, Harry grinned. Something better, he said. My mom read me Charlotte's Web this summer and I got interested in spiders. Mrs. Mackle beamed, which means she smiled so big. I remember when I read that book to you last year. Yeah, Harry said. I will never forget our invasion of the cobwebs. Well, there's a real spider in a cobweb in this box and I have to get him some fresh water. Sydney cringed. We watched Harry open up the trap door on the, side, on the side of the box, pull out a small lid and take it over to the classroom sink to fill it with water. When he returned, he put it carefully back inside. Now I'll close the trap door so Charles can't get out. Charles, Sydney scoffed. You gave your spider a name? Of course, Harry snapped. He's my pet spider. I found him in my bathtub a week ago. I didn't know spiders took baths, Sydney said. They don't, Harry groaned. He was just thirsty. A bathtub is a good place to find some water. What kind of spider is he? Miss Mackle asked. Just an ordinary one with eight legs and eight eyeballs, Harry said. He has everything he needs in this spider house. I just have to feed him a fly now and then. Here's a picture of Harry with his, um, with his box, with the spider in, in it. I hate spiders, Sydney said. They're blood suckers. Mary put her hands on her hips. Spiders have to eat too, Charlotte explained all of that. I think I'll make a spider house for my egg sack after school, Song Lee said. I'll help you, Mary replied. Harry and I started pulling books about spiders out of the library corner. Mary and Song Lee got their science notebooks and started drawing pictures of Charles. Dexter and Ida made a spider board game about made a spider board game about Charlotte's Web with pink chance cards. What were the names of Charlotte's three grandchildren? Dexter said as he wrote the question down. Name them and in and then you advance three spaces in the game. And then at 10.07, it happened when everyone was busy. Harry was over by the windows, trapping a fly for Charles's meal. Oh, Sydney screamed. The spider just crawled out the trap door. He's going to eat me. Harry put down his fly swatter and raced over, but not in time. Sydney took one of my copper rocks and smashed the spider. Bam! You killed Charles! Harry yelled. Miss Mackle rushed over. Everyone made a circle around the science table. He was trying to escape, Sydney pleaded. He was going to bite me. I did what I had to do. No one said anything. Slowly, Harry put up his two fists. 
uh-oh, I thought. Now he's thinking double revenge. Miss Macko called us over for the, to the braided rug in the library corner. Please sit down, boys and girls, she said. We did. Spiders are nature's best friends. They eat harmful insects. They help plants grow. We don't have to be afraid of them. Mary sneered. <laughs> Sydney's not the Sydney's the only one afraid of spiders. Everyone stared at Sydney. So, he said, they can kill you. Miss Mackle drew something on her clipboard. There are two spiders that are deadly. Both have special markings on them. On them. The black widow has a red hourglass on its abdomen, Harry interrupted. Yes. And the other has a violin marking on its back. That's the brown recluse. Everyone studied the teacher's drawings, which means they just looked at them carefully. But most sp spiders are harmless. Sydney made a face. They're not my best friends. Then he paused. I, I'm so sorry about Charlie. His name was Charles, Harry snapped. Well, I think we should have a moment of silence for Harry's dead pet, Mary suggested. That sounds like a good idea, the teacher replied. So we did. We bowed our heads and closed our eyes and thought about Charles. Then Miss Mackle took us downstairs for a drink and in a run in the sun. I think she wanted us to air out our brains. When we came back to the room, Sydney started looking around for something. Hey, he blurted out, someone stole my burnt hot dog. Remember the hot dog was what he brought in as a memento, so somebody stole it. I wonder who stole it, do you have any ideas? Hmm. All right, so that is chapter three of Horrible Harry Moves Up to Third Grade. Thank you all for joining me on our read aloud today and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.